Okay. Where are all the pastors with this fine? Would you please stand up? There's so few of you out there. I, I can I can barely see you. Yeah, there's a few of them out there, and God bless all of them that are doing it. But these people that uh, are there, they can't address any modern day events that would uh, be applicable to God's word. They can't do that from the pulpit. They can't warn uh, their flock about pending worldly events uh, that would make uh, their flock's lives a little more easier. Well, they can't do that because they're spineless. They're a bunch of chicken shits. And they're so worried about their 501 3Cs or whatever and their tax write-offs that they won't begin to even begin to do that. I'm going, ha <laughs> okay. That's right. Uh, and I got to thinking, you know, another responsibility that they have is to guard their flock. Well, they're guarding it all right, but not guarding it from the evil of the world. They're guarding it from anything that would come in that would upset their apple cart. They've got, I mean, anything that would upset their gig, they're, they're, they're going to toss out like nobody's business. So, they don't want anything uh, to come in that would make them grow or anything like that because they've got a good deal going right now and they like those checks coming in, baby. And uh, it's all about control. If, if the group that they have is small, then they're easier to control and it's easier to control all the events in the church and it's easier to control anything and uh, even uh, attitudes and happenings outside the church since the group is so small. Okay, well, so there you go. It's all a control mechanism. And uh, I, it's just so sick. It's, uh, so under that heading, you would assume it's so controlled and so small that the flock is actually not members of the congregation, but they actually are is prey. All they are is prey. They're prey to the good-for-nothing pastor who enjoys the green coming in every month. Please, folks, don't give anybody any money like that. I mean, they don't want revival breaking out in their place. Uh-uh. They, 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 hey, they got a good thing going, and uh, mm, you don't want anything like that happening. Uh, don't give them nothing like any money. Don't give them anything. Don't give them nothing. Pull it out of your pumpkin. Don't do it. Um, and these people are supposed to be so dedicated. Oh, they're so dedicated. Uh, are you willing to die for Jesus? Oh, yes, we're willing to die. <laughs> are you ready to give up everything? Uh, are you ready to give up your boat? Are you ready to give up your Lexus? Are you ready to give your BMW up? Are you ready to give your multi-million dollar mansions up? Oh, well, of course you're not. You're not even willing to give up your tea time on Sunday. Oh, it makes me so irritable and so angry to think this is what you've got out there. And uh, please, don't, don't go to these places. Don't give these places any money. Um, don't attend. Uh, there is a, a thing where I guess you can go to some of these places, you meet a few people there, that, and you're like-minded with them, and so that way you can have some type of uh, fellowship with uh, people that share your view outside of their church. But the problem is, you're still going to that church. You're still cutting checks to that church. You're still going there. And at some point, uh, they're either going to get fed up with you or you're going to get fed up with them but one thing's for sure if you're going someplace uh, like that oh, uh, I couldn't do it there are people that can do it I'm glad I'm happy for you I couldn't do it and uh, so but I wanted to come on and, and, and say please folks don't go to any of these 
Don't go to any of these places. You know, the church is the church. The church are the people in the community. The church is the people uh, are the people. The church isn't a building, a structure. Uh, so, all the pay a thousand dollars for a new, uh, a new podium. Yeah, right. Let me just whip out the old card right there and uh, give Sister Lulu a, uh, a new podium. Yeah, uh, I'll be glad to do that. Uh, don't do this stuff. They're not going to help you. Uh, they're there to charge you $19.95 and to come up with all these, uh, everything from A to Z to gain money so they can go ahead and just live the good old life. Don't do it, folks. Don't do this. Um, we've got uh, problems enough, and everybody's got problems at home enough, and help trying to help as many people and family and friends as they can. Uh, yeah, no. No, 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 no. Maybe, maybe, as, maybe uh, they'll start rushing wagons through the center of town with bottles of elixir on the, on the back of them. Maybe you should run out and... Uh, by buying a bottle of that, maybe they'll, they'll heal you real good. Oh, God. Oh, yippee. Okay, gang. God bless everybody. Have a, have a great uh, weekend if I don't get back on here again. And as that famous person always said in his videos, keep your faith in Jesus Christ. And I, uh, I second that. Uh, keep your faith in Jesus Christ. God bless everybody.